Over 70,000 people are crammed into the Kurdish-controlled Al-Hol camp in northeastern Syria. Most of them are families of foreign ISIS fighters. Stuck in the desert, surrounded by barbed wire and armed guards, children suffer the most. Syrian and Iraqi women are allowed to roam freely in this desolate camp. Female jihadists who joined the militant group from across the world are treated as high-risk prisoners. They are still waiting for the return of the caliphate. Bahu's is more than a thousand times better than this camp. At least there we were valued, while here we have been put to burn in the fire of hell. These women admit to stabbing guards, stoning aid workers, and flying the militant group's black flag. Meanwhile, the jihadists also complain of inhuman conditions in the camps. But it is the children who are most vulnerable to their parents' teachings. The children of IS fighters throw stones because their mothers tell them that we killed their parents and destroyed their homes. And that's what pushes the children to turn against us and to throw stones at us when they see our uniforms. Kurdish authorities have warned these children are a ticking time bomb while calling for their rehabilitation and reintegration.